a player that you've seen from start to, to now is, is Dustin Martin. I'm sure his name is quite synonymous with your own. Um, what do you remember of a young Dusty? Oh, I think very early stages, he was obviously a superstar in the in the making uh, with regards to talent. But from a maturity point of view, he obviously had a lot of growth to do. And I think the best way to put it is that, you know, probably after his first couple of years, every year that I grew up, he probably grew up too. And, and now, you know, he's, he's only a year younger than me. His, his football record speaks for itself. But I think the thing that makes me most proud as a mate is his growth from a just a, a human being point of view um you know the things that he's intrigued about the things that he's learnt about um you know people are surprised often when i talk about how he's really connected to the spiritual part of life and and world and um you know he's he's done meditation uh <laughs> practices yeah. and and that's become part a big part of him living his best life and probably you know whilst he'll leave the game when that happens as one of the greats that's you know, pulled on a Richmond Guernsey, but also an AFL Guernsey. Um, I'll be most proud about the person that he is. Do you think that has added to the Dustin Martin story? Is it the fact that we, we don't know a whole heap about Dusty, but we see him with you, we see him with your wife, we see him with your kids. He just seems like a happier person when he's around the Cochins. Do you, do you find that? Yeah, well, he just loves people. He's he's one of those guys that can light up a room and, and whether that's uh, in the football environment or not, um, he just... Gravita- or people gravitate towards him and he is the energy and, and probably through his challenging times since his, his old man has passed away, um, you know, they're the moments where you realise just how impactful uh, he can be on a group and granted grief challenges people in, in many different ways, um, you know, when he's probably been most absent uh, from just himself, um, that's where we've been challenged most as, as a group or or you see the impact that it has on people. So he's a wonderful person. He's very um, generous. He loves bringing people together uh, and, and spending time with people. There's a big uh, off-season for Dusty and obviously somebody else close with you, Damien Hardwick, is up at the Gold Coast. Can you see Dusty going north for a bit of sun? Uh, look, I don't think it's something that would be out of the question. I think he's, one of his values is that he's very loyal and... Um, you know, it'd be nice to think that uh, along with Shane Edwards, Jack Riewoldt and myself, he can become another 300-game player for the Richmond Footy Club. And, and that's probably where I see it playing out. Again, you know, at the end of the day, it's it's ultimately his decision. I think I remember Dimmer saying, uh, you know, a year and a half ago um, that he doesn't owe anything more to the Richmond Footy Club. I don't know whether that was because he knew what he was up to and was just trying to plant the seed or whether that was just, you know, genuine. Like he's, he's given our fans more than they could have ever wished for not just personally but you know a lot of that has been on the back of some of his individual brilliance and um you know we're just grateful to have shared that journey with him 